live in Columbus now. Oh, you do? The college there. But I don't know him. Or any of those you don't know Howard Zai. He's been there for 20, he's put, he's put this special <coughs> on for 25 years, I think. Well, I know J.P. knows him. So yeah. yeah, he started it. He Actually, did. frankly, I read a book by him. <laughs> he's a fine, a fine you know, they're fine people. You, he'd like them, wouldn't play. he? Oh, yeah. yeah. They bought, the 15 pounds they bought a beautiful the old uh, the farmhouse Made and the 90 acres. <laughs> I was take a while to get that was back. a manor house. And uh, the people that owned it when it was built in 1850. Sorry, you had your children. Oh, that whole country around there. Was you out to his house or did he have it when you was there? Don't think Probably it. didn't have it then. <laughs> but it's it's two story brick and it, they've done a lot of work. It, it's beautiful. That's where old Dan Emmett, the old, old Dan Tucker, came from. Yeah. Big singing all those tunes. Play something. I kind of think I wanted to play. Well, I tell you what, I want to play for him. I want him, this real pretty waltz he plays. Now, he's going to get tired of me asking him to play that. Margaret's yeah, waltz? Margaret's <laughs> That is pretty, though. It's pretty today. I'll mess it up. But just don't listen to me. That's the thing that I remembered most of it, uh, about your fiddling was what uh, beautiful notes, <coughs> beautiful, clear, clean notes you made. I'm too lazy to fiddle. <laughs> well, uh, you ought to have Gordon for a guitar picker. I, I got him. <laughs> he's, uh, he's too lazy to pick a guitar. He's, yeah. uh, he gets, uh, he's fine, kind of low and long. <laughs> Drowsing along behind the wall. So, uh, if you put him, put him trying to play a square dance, and he'll get tendonitis or something on him. That's just what I was going to say. That's just he gave me. T I always know he did. About ten years ago, I got tendonitis in this wrist, and it's from him. Oh, you trying to play square dance? Yeah, well, just play. He plays with rather rough. Right. <laughs> well, he does. Yeah. I like the way he plays. Some, His notes are clear. As kids said, said in St. Louis, they said I played vigorously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the way I heard him when I was when I was a boy. That's the way they they was. 
the radio fiddlers played them that way, and our dance fiddlers played them that way. And to me, that's the way them old time hoedowns are supposed to be played. I, I'd hate to hear one played slow. They don't roll together, they don't fit, they don't sound right to me. Now, that's just my ear. I'm perfectly, it's, I'm trying to be fair minded. I don't care what anybody else likes, they, they're welcome to it. <laughs> I just know what I like. But I like the way you all played out here. I mean, it, it uh, sounds like a, a good cake with a different icing on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different than anywhere I go. Uh, the, the, our music's just a little bit different. It's, even in North Missouri, it, they don't play the same type of stuff in North Missouri at all. Uh, different teams. Well, he heard uh, Fred and Alita night before last. And then yesterday he heard Dean and Gary, oh. and then today he'll hear you and Alton. So he'll get a. They're, of course, they're a little different. Yeah, they're and a that's little. why I tell Mark he's going to see a different part of the Ozarks than where Dean and oh. Gary and Don. Well, now Pete, when and then Pete McMahon and Taylor yeah. McBain and those fellows was, yeah. was a different. Up, that was another different thing. Up north of there, even. And Cyril Stennett was a little different than that, even. Of course, Cyril was a little different than anything. Yeah. Well, I was playing in Bob Walters. Well, Lonnie did some part. Lonnie, Lonnie learned an awful lot of Bob Walters tunes. Yeah. He played more of his yeah. tunes than he did our traditional tunes, really. Uh, and he was the reason that I knew a lot of those northern tunes yeah. for years because I didn't know any of the north, uh, northern fiddlers. What would you consider a real classic tune from this era? Oh, they're, they're, I mean, it's, they wouldn't necessarily be just from this area, they're... Well, the way they play it, then. Uh, God, I don't know. <laughs> that's hard, that's hard to do. <laughs> Only one I can, hard that I call really reasonable is old crony plays that, you play it too, that Arkansas, Arkansas two-step. Yeah, that was, a, that was a, one of the first tunes I ever heard when I was a kid. Uh, they, they was, back then though, they played a lot of those little C tunes, little nothing tunes, they don't amount to anything. But it was easy, they could get a lot of uh, volume and they could do it all night. You know, you had to sit in a, just out in somebody's private home, and no sound system or anything, and, and try to play loud enough from the dance and fast enough too, with never more than just a guitar or a banjo. And uh, you was lucky to have that. And in my dad's day, he said there was a lot of times that just somebody beating straws on, straws on the, it was all the rhythm you had. Yeah. Be, somebody would beat straws or something. But this is a typical old square dance tune that I would have heard when I was 50 years ago, 55. Is this that Arkansas two -step? Yeah. It's got a hundred different names. Uh, yeah. uh, Brad Leftwich called it. He had another name for it. I don't remember what it was. I can't remember what it was. They can really dance a lot of them. Did you put that on one of your tapes? Because I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I've never tape, heard it before. I heard it's on that square dance tape, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think it is. Tied in with a couple of other tunes. Yeah. But there was a bunch of those tunes I don't remember. I don't know all of them. Uh, one, one. 
one was, I can't get it straightened out anymore, but it was, it went. <laughs> Keeping up with you? Yeah. All right. What do you call right. it? I don't. I don't even bother to call that one anything. I don't know what. To, I've heard it called. Uh, some people called it. Just to say, oh, that's just green corn. But it is a little like green corn. But it ain't green corn. It's uh, called fun draw over. Huh? The fun draw over. The sun's all over. Fun. Fun. Fun's all fun's over. over. Fun's all over. Yeah. Well, Jay, people say, but. You want to hear how different the tune is? I'll play a little bit of that. It was in C, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Better tighten up my hair right here. Now, Dean plays one. Like, like Newman's bills. Yeah. Some nice little things. Well, that's the only, the tunes are so simple. That's the only rhythm. And my rhythm players over the years have been so sorry that uh, if you didn't play kind of a rhythm on the fiddle, they'd get lost. You wouldn't have any rhythm. So. I'm used, it doesn't bother me. He rubbed me the wrong way. I said no, it over, doesn't bother me, but I'm used to it. I said over the years. Yes, I know. Look at me when he said that. Yeah, that's, that's what makes well, it I just, you, know, <laughs> you know you expect me to do that. Now, Gordon Devine is a fine rhythm player, as you know. But I have, you can't believe what I have played with at these dances where they just, I just had to scare up somebody. What is it? Is that Fiddler's Dream? Well, we did. We went by Thelma's huh? and went by Thelma Robertson's house. And so I went in and got that D18, that 1934 D18 that was Lonnie's, you know, oh, it's still good. But it was, somebody tuned that thing. I don't know how. A whole step low. A whole step low. So you played it over there and I was having to play it in, what was it, G or something, you know, whatever it was. I don't know. Yeah. 
No, about 30 minutes probably. Which he's... He plays thing pretty well. Oh, he knows a ton. He knows a ton of tunes. In fact, he's he's constantly learning more. He goes to these festivals and comes back with three new ones, you know, too. Plus all the old ones he's got. I have more trouble now picking up to him. When he's getting older, it gives you problems. Yeah, Art was said he had to work a lot longer to even try and learn a new You one. talk about the difference in tunes now that's the way in the way we play our tunes. One of the fun, most fun things I've done in, uh, at Port Townsend, it was me and uh, uh, I'm fine if I don't have to think of somebody's name. This gal from, uh, you probably know her, uh, they play uh, almost the old time, they've almost a added a rock beat to it. It's band up in uh, New York. I don't know. It's the horse flies. They're on the rounder, but I, I never. I don't know. In fact, I haven't. Well, anyway, she's a pretty good fiddler. Yeah. And uh, she got the idea. We had a little spare time one afternoon that she got as many of us together as she could. Of course, Clyde Davenport wouldn't come. He wouldn't participate in it. But me and Ralph Blizzard did. And uh, some guy, I can't think of his name. He's not a well-known fellow, but he lives right neighbors to James Bryant uh, down in the corner of Alabama. Matlock? Uh, was it that Matlock? Matlock? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But anyway, she thought it'd be interesting to see, take different tunes, and each each one of us play our version of it and yeah. see, see how much different it was. And it was a lot of fun. It was... Well, I gone around, uh, for, you know, uh, this is a hobby, and we recorded people all over, I mean, up in Canada, you know, so I know a lot of those Canadians, it's, it's, I don't know, it's been out west, because that's where I'm from. Yeah, it, the, the thing that's a kick is to hear just the different ways, and take something like Katie Hill, and you never hear it, you, you can't believe it, you never hear it the same no. way. <laughs> you know, the, the guy that up there that, that played the nearest, he could have come. He could come down and set in my dance, and my dancers would dance right on. Uh, two steps. He played fast. Two steps. Old Bob Will stuff. He was an Athabascan Indian from above the Arctic Circle, and he uh, Trem Tremble Gilbert, really a nice fella. And they played. He played a good, solid dance beat, and had some pep to it, and. He played Ragtime Annie and Arkansas Traveler and, and old Bob Wills type uh, two steps, you know. But he also now he played he played quite a lot. He plays a lot in Canada. He he had a he played a lot of French Canadian stuff, I guess. But I didn't hear him play that part of what I heard him play. He could have fit right in. I told him I said you could just come set in for me some night. I, yeah, I enjoyed him. He's a very enjoyable fellow as well. Yeah. Was, Joe oh. Cor was Joe Cornier from Boston there at the same time as he was out there? I think he was there yeah, he's been that week. But they was, they was so much of my music that I really liked that I didn't, that I didn't uh, get around to a lot of the ethnic. Uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not that wild about uh, that... Uh, Cape Breton music and Canadian music and Irish and Scottish music. Yeah. I mean, I like a few of the, you know, a few tunes, but it, 
It's like anything else you don't know very much about. I'm sure our tunes is the same to them. They, after one or two, they all sound the same to me. They're just, uh, I just, they're monotonous kind of. Well, you know, a couple of years ago, my wife and I was working, went in Ireland, played music, uh -huh. and that Wild Rose Mount, I think everybody had that. And you know that old tune I put on there, going down the river? Yeah. That's all you could hear out of that song. Play that going down the river. See, that's the same one I think you can find. I think I have to cross to play it. I don't know. Well, that's... that's. <laughs> first songs I ever learned. Build me a boat. Hey, little girl, if you don't do me better, build a little boat that'll float you down the river. <laughs> heart, the boat began to rock, my heart began to quiver. Hey, my little girl, we're going down the river. <laughs> and the Docs played that. Gene Docs played that. Practically the same word. Yeah. Yeah. But did you ever hear I had a wife? She was a Quaker. She wouldn't work and the devil couldn't make her. I heard that. <laughs> I, well, I've heard the uh, similar, similar verses in Maybe. There's an old 78 that had that, but they play it in C. I forgot whether they were from Arkansas or not. I don't know they were from Tennessee. I can't remember what the group was from. Now, you know, I've always thought, now I play a, a, a version that I've kind of put together myself of uh, Paul Warren's tune he called uh, Hickman County. Breakdown. Kenny Baker recorded it and called it that too. <laughs> but actually, if you get to fooling around with it, it is just, uh, I think it's just a version of this tune right here. Going down the river? Yes, sir. It's, uh, it's... Only they, only, now of course they souped it up, called it, and changed it up. Just a little bit, and how'd your father play? Huh? How'd he your father play? He didn't play. No, he didn't play. play. I mean, how do play? How do you hear it? The, the tune that he would have whistled would have been. Howdy Forrester died. 
Hartford sat him down and made him play these old tunes. He came out of Hickman County. Well, a lot of those guys did uh, from right around Nashville there, you know, it's not. And I'm sure, I think, uh, it had, had a different name to it. Yeah, but I bet you that's where you're right, but it came out of that. that I bet local, it's all you know, like a little girl going there, a little boat up to Sandy or whatever. I, I heard it called that, too. It's a good tune, whoever, any of the versions, I think it's a dandy tune. It's a good dance tune. Yeah, it's a good dance tune. So you play it in D then? Yeah, I play it in D. You play it in D and I was playing it in A. Got it. But now, whether, uh, I think uh, Cyril Stennett played it in G, played it in G and he, and he, he uh, tuned it. Some string, I'm not sure which one. <clears throat> Bill Connolly plays it like that. He, he plays it that way. Yeah. Uh, Gordon said, that, I thought that, uh, that you play uh, a number of old time tunes with the retuned fiddle. I mean, JP does too. Yeah. I mean, not the standard like Bonaparte's Retreat. No, no, I play you it. Know, uh, Black Mountain. That last tape, I put some of them on that last tape. Yeah, that's uh, uh, Pretty Polly was one. Pretty Polly? Well, yeah, but that's, a, that's a common ever, tune. That's a common tune, yeah. but the one I've never heard anybody else play was that uh, uh, old Steel House. Now, I've, I've seen the title, I've heard the title, but it didn't have the same tune to it. And the only other photo I've ever run across is that said he had heard the tune was uh, John Herman. And John has heard lots of music, so he might very well have run across it someplace. He didn't know where. You know John Herman? I've heard the name. He's a fiddler, banjo figure. He plays with Ralph Blizzard, lives in Asheville, North Carolina. Fine musician and a really nice fellow. I, I, he played banjo for me all the time. I was in Fort <clears> Townsend. <throat> yeah. Had a, had a lot of jam sessions with him and, and uh, Gordy Henner, the other, the regular banjo player of Blizzards. I, I enjoyed those boys. They were really fine musicians. You know them? I know Ralph Blizzard. I've seen him for me. Hold it. You have to hold it down a minute, then it'll, it'll, then it'll go. You want yeah. to take one? Yeah, get them together. Oh, yeah. I don't need uh, to. I can't get you Charlie right. Charlie That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Charlie and his wife was out there. She fell and broke her leg while she was there. Well, I'll be darned. Yeah. Yeah, I visited, eat, we eat together quite a bit and visited. They just like, they live down the road here, you know. They're just home folks. Uh, oh, Ralph, he plays yeah, it too. Just hold it down. Is it open? Well, I took one picture. I tried to take the second one. Oh, I Ralph, I, right. Ralph, yeah, Ralph's yeah, music's forward. exciting. It's, I yeah, like it. Just, it's, just, uh, just it's an awful lot like more like Arthur Smith than anybody else I ever heard. He's listened to him a lot. But he, uh, he's added uh, his own thing to yeah. even to Arthur Smith. Yeah. But he he gets some really pretty stuff and I, I really like his I like his and he's got a he's got a good group. They're just a, You ever hear Ben flipping? Never heard that. He was he was out there this year but it was the second week. I was there the first week. Yeah. I missed him. I didn't get to hear him. He's a good player. That's what the boys told me. There's some of our Missouri fellows was out there the second week. And they really enjoyed his fiddling. They, they said you couldn't get any talking out of him. He wouldn't talk. He don't talk much. <laughs> he just didn't talk at all. Let me have him play one of his... Uh, you're going to get tired of these ones I like. I keep having him play them. Is that Maysville? <laughs> this is a... I, I don't have it, so just listen to him.
like that old tune though. That's it's that mournful thing. old sound, doesn't it? Have a it's a crazy tune. That, that yeah, thing. it it don't follow the normal pattern. No, I mean, no, it, no. I think it's got some half half measures in there. I don't know how to time them out, but it's like that wild rose. They count out funny. <laughs> Play one hold. Did you, uh, did you ever play any of those fellows up on the river like uh, Jimmy Wheeler and up from up around Cincinnati? And I played with Jimmy Wheeler. So. Jimmy was, um, <clears throat> when I know him, he's doing his best fiddling is when he's doing all them hornpipes. He was a good hornpipe fiddler. Real good. Well, that, that one took me back to, to old Kentucky, you got what you call, what he called pine grove. Yeah. What's that sound like? <laughs> Fiddle fixings for Buddy, and Buddy went off, and I think sold the fiddle, and Jimmy was mad at him, so, but I didn't know that at the time, that uh, he was kind of ornery when we were up there. What, what really has happened? Well, pretty, not too long before J uh, Buddy died, we went up to Jimmy Wheeler's. Yeah. You know, and Jimmy was pretty nasty to me, yeah. to Buddy, you know, wasn't just kidding, you know, and Augustine went up there too, and so... That's why we didn't bother recording because his kind of temperament. Me, yeah, it seemed kind of ornery. But then we found out. Roger told me later that Jimmy was a great repairman. You know, it, it fixed up some fancy trimmings for a fiddle that he gave Buddy. And yeah. Buddy, I there's some tunes that they play that that doesn't. It just don't. You know, I'll take a tune from anywhere if it kind of fits into. My right. pattern of tunes. Well, some of those are so strange. <laughs> yeah, some of them just yeah. kind of wanders around out in the woods, loose. You know, they've got no pattern, and and that, there's a lot of West Virginia tunes like that. Yeah, no, it's all the same. He's, He's got, got a couple on on his CD there. That last one that I can't figure out there. Either. I don't know how they're the hell G minor, or an an E minor. I don't know what because they don't go to a minor key. They just. I learned that tune when I was just a kid. Oh, of course, I like that. Well, oh, some in Maysville, I like some that. Some of that that's, that's old kind of Kentucky Mountain one. fiddling was that. And then some of that's kind of sophisticated stuff. But who knows, maybe it was a lot of Germans around there. Or it, it's way over my head, whatever it is. And uh, Clyde Davenport plays some tunes that's, that's like that, that they're just, as far as I'm going to they're just all Some of Buddy Thomas's are... Oh, well, that's that's what we were talking about. Buddy oh, was, yeah, that's what Buddy, you're talking about. Oh, playing okay. that I don't see why Alvin didn't play that major bill. Alvin Green? I never heard of anything like it in my life, actually. Yeah. 
I tell you, we play bomb. more straight ahead tunes yeah. usually than uh, um, what Buddy would play. Buddy, yeah. but those ones that don't really stay in a key. <laughs> That's what you're talking about, like the way. Yeah, he but plays now, even his, uh, even his about the his, his one of his most mixed up ones is that Kitty Puss, and after you listen to that sucker a while, it it begins to kind of wear on you and get to you. It's I mean. Huh? He gets on you. Yeah, it does. No. And uh, you kind of like it. Well, you know what I finally realized? That was actually that Clyde Davenport pointed out to somebody. Out in North Carolina, they play a more common tune than the old Steve Ledford used to play it, called Tucker's Old Barn. And I bet you it's actually the same tune. It just got stranger when it got out to Kentucky. You know, it's a two-key kind of tune, but it, it really went strange out. There. And sometimes, you know, I think some really isolated old fiddlers. I know they did in this country. They played a lot by themselves, and they were pretty good fiddlers. And they had a good imagination. And they just they just kind of added to and took them tunes wherever they wanted to until they was uh, a, a strange sound and peace. But uh, a lot of people, a lot of these younger people especially, really really latches on the odder they sound the quicker they pick up on them you know right, right. but it, i don't think it was a common thing i think it was just from isolation just somebody playing for themselves that didn't they just didn't stick to the true tune <laughs> well but actually they, they, they have some written music some of these ones i found in kentucky they're pretty strange there's one roger plays what's he called it uh, Well, they call it winding down the sheets. If that's Jimmy Wheeler played it too, and it wanders all over the place. But by gum, the it was written for fancy dress balls. They found it back in. You know, oh, so yeah. they used to have that. They didn't have such much. The funny chords or the tonalities they had more in the 19th century, and somehow little pockets of that survived in Kentucky. They didn't pay so much attention to the melody. Uh, well, they didn't worry about chord, having standard chords do anything, so they, they'd let the tune wander around uh, a more than. You know, talking about first sitting around playing yourself, Dale Carpenter, you know, yeah. I, I mentioned him to you. And uh, at uh, Blood Fence is where I learned that tune, really, listening to him play. Um, he lived by himself, he was a strange character. I mean, you talk about hills, man, where he was at, it's not like where Buddy was, you know. But you go up there in the night, he wouldn't come out of the house, he'd just open the door, and all you'd see was his head a little bit, and holler, who is it? And I got if, if you didn't tell him who you was, you didn't probably he held an old, old big old 45 in his hand all the time. <laughs> and me and June Rice go up there, his tapey. And we'd have to put a pillar under his foot. He'd sit, he'd play, and just pound that foot into the floor. Uh, stay with him till daylight. One morning, stayed up there, he's gonna cook breakfast for me. <laughs> and he wanted to know how I like my biscuits, whether I want them brown or, or, or light, you know. I said, I like them brown. All right, he said, I'll fix some for you, I'll fix some for myself. It looked like I hadn't even been baked. <laughs> but it had old. Uh, Woodbury cook stove, living be himself. His family, he had a bunch of kids, but they were all gone down around Winchester somewhere in there. But he was quite a fiddler. And he, he liked to look at uh, these uh, girly magazines, you know. Uh. Well, June Rice, he'd save up a bunch and take them up there. <laughs> and he had a spyglass. <laughs> <laughs> and he him. looked like his left eye was that big around. <laughs> I said, Jude, he's drawing his left eye and pulled out his head. <laughs> Look at that one over <coughs> there. Play something here. What's that one you like? Step Town? Is that one you like? Yeah, that's one JP wrote. Switch it in. Hey, I think hey. <laughs> okay, yeah.
and easy. Oh, thank you. It's just the way it sounds on the album. Yeah. Just I, I thought it was. Worth. You we play do, Birdie. I play a, the modern version of it. I don't play the version. You play a little, play yours and then listen. I play it's, Kenny Baker's. It's the same notes, but it's a different Kenny style. Kenny Baker's version. I don't play the. She taught in the English class. He was a he was t a school teacher in Kentucky, and he he mentions that tune in a lot of his mm. stories uh, from a way back. And uh, that's that, of course, part of that, uh, especially is more like Tommy Gerald played it. Yeah. And I'm sure that's this. I, the only source I ever had of it was I just got it off a of Kenny Baker album. Yeah. Well, this is Daddy's version. Well, you've kind of changed it over the years, though. Huh? You were cha changing it over. It's on that old record that you've got. There. But you've changed it a little bit, especially that first part. Older. You do that unconsciously. <laughs> well, I'm not blaming them. I'm just commenting. Uh, I call it, it evolution. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play a couple more. We all think about it. <laughs> I've learned tunes from yeah. fellows, and they'd say, well, now, you don't play that just exactly like I did. I said, no, I call it uh, evolution. I said, this is just kind of evolved, you know. Everybody hears a tune just a little bit different, and and over the years, you, you change your own tunes a little I bit. I think you play what you hear anyway. That's I mean, right. Uh, and Bob Walsh is always saying, well, that's not the way it's written. Well, the same way twice. Whoever wrote it, whoever wrote, yeah. heard, some, <laughs> heard somebody, somebody else play it. it. Yeah, that's right. 
Where did that rabbit that you got, where'd you get that from? That was from one of these old hill fielders, but they didn't do anything but but make whiskey and they'd play a little poker and they had enough girls in the families to attract the boys and they'd have dances and sell that whiskey and, <laughs> and all of them was musicians, the women, girls and the guys too, from a Deckard family oh, down yeah. here in McClure. Old Charlie Deckard. But now actually I didn't, uh, it come from a potter, there, there was two families, this comes from the potter side of the family. Kentucky set because I recorded him with Aza Martin and it was much yeah. better because it was the old time accompaniment. Too. Did you know what Aza Martin told me? He's one. That, he's the guy that used to play guitar for Doc Roberts. Oh, is that the, right? I know you know Doc Roberts. Oh yeah, I, I love Doc Roberts too. Aza told me he's the one to put old uh, String Bean to being a country clown <laughs> and. Uh, you know, Asa, he, he was there at WCMI at Ashland. Oh, I got a poster that's got Asa Martin and String Beans. <laughs> oh, you have? Yeah. yeah, well. He started him out. And, and he told him, he said, uh, yes, when uh, every band had a clown. Yeah, oh, yeah. The well, learned clown didn't show up. Asa told me to tell me this story. And he said, <coughs> uh, he said you're going to have to be the clown. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Go on to But, uh, Anyway, they talked him into it, and he was a hit. So from then on, he 
Strang was my favorite. Old Strang was was my favorite. He was, he was, that old sucker was a good banjo picker. Yeah. Yeah. Now, he, <laughs> could pick, he could show me. He was a flat out <laughs> banjo picker to go with it. Right here in my heart, hard heart, heart <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I feel so unnecessary. I rather, I'd a lot rather hear him as uh, way. He, Grandpa Jones wasn't even close, and, and uh, I'd, I'd rather, rather hear him. I know Dave Macon knew a lot of stuff and could do a lot of different things, but I way rather hear Strang Beach oh, play yeah, band. He was. Oh, I don't know. I, I, Dave I, was had a lot of good stuff. I, I, Uncle Dave is one of my heroes, but I like Spring Bean yeah, too. Like so him. you don't have to choose. Uncle Dave had so many. He had such a wide variety of stuff he could do and wide variety of picking that he could do. Oh, yeah, no. Well, I seen him take his hat off, you know. Yeah. And fan that old bird yeah. and just pick and never miss it. Hey, I, actually, he, I actually often like the serious ones he did. You know, but, uh, he was a hell of a character. He was a, quite an actor. Now, I hate to be a killjoy, but we better think about well, uh, a couple more, and then uh, I hear on. old JP all the time because he's yeah. three hours. Well, I hear You're him. twelve. I hear him all the time. I want to hear him. That's what yeah. I like to do. Play a couple more, then we better. What are we about? Twenty minutes from mountains? Twenty thirty minutes? About yeah. thirty minutes, probably. Well, I don't know the way it took you to get here from Seymour. You, you may be two hours from mountains. <laughs> I thought you'd be here in fifteen minutes, seventeen miles up there. Well, I'd leave my mark here. I got to slow you up one whip. <laughs> I don't know what, what is, if you guys have any idea what you. I'm getting like I can't think of anything to play on. I play the same tunes at the dances all the time, and I'm getting that's all I can play. You you gonna make me that list? I, what list? I don't know enough tunes to make a list. That talk when I called you yesterday. When you I didn't remember you. That's talk about me. Now, Fred Stone King last time I was down here said he was down here and he played all these old cross key things he had never heard. I don't play that many. I don't play very many. So. I especially like that second pick. Yeah, that, that's a much. I had to make that other one for my dancers. I made the last one for myself. I find that I was going to misplace my cup. I was going to play that for JP. I had to play the square dance.
be very slick on them. I'm just shining water around them. That's a good ver That's quite a bit different than I've heard that lost in you. Now, Art played it, and mm -hmm. Ed Haley played it. And some of the older I don't think I ever heard the same version of it from any two different No, members. that's what I mean. That's a, but the old, a lot of the old fiddlers had a tenor voice, and they could howl on that part along with it, you know, and I, I can't... I can't yeah, do that. Long, yeah. I ain't got no howler. Need to <laughs> Melvin up here to. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, on Wolves of Howling, they do that too. Do you play Wolves of Howling? I do, yeah. Well, that's right. It's on my good Yeah, I like that. Favorite that's a good tune. tune. It's a really good dance tune. My rhythm mm -hmm. section all just hates it. Oh, I like it. <laughs> you can't hardly hit anything but A. It was yeah. a fast, it's a fast E or yeah. something in it. Play it just like you play it for a dance. I have to. Oh, no, don't go fool with it. Uh, yeah. It's played with the. It's in, in straight A. This is the oh, C okay. sharp. You got the E run down. Uh, what else? That's about all I, that's about all I play there. They was a. Pretty Polly, you play the dances, don't you? Can play that. Oh yeah, I play. I don't play the, the exhibition version. I just play straight dance version. Now, where did you, where did you pick up this Pretty Polly? Was it played a lot around here in the old days? Well, I've known it all my life. But I guess, I, of course, I've heard radio about all my life, and, and my grandma had a world of all the old. Yeah, old well, Arthur records. Smith. I've heard, the, and I've heard Paul Warren play it. I've heard Howdy Forrester. Of course. Yeah. Uh, Bob Wells Fiddler made a great version. Did you ever hear that pretty Betty Ann or whatever? It yeah. Was? And they got a part where this hot, I think it must have been Teeny, Teeny, what's his name? Teeny Moore came in on electric mandolin, you know, plays this jazz thing. And you hear really quietly on the record. We'll let that thing in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is some really show versions of it, you know, right. but I, it makes an awful good square dance too. You have to have something you can play fast to play for my people. They want to dance. If you get to play in less than about 140 beats a minute, they get, they'll just stop and look at you. <laughs>
played just like that. I that, that's the way that thing wrote. There's the keys right there. Trying to find out, seems like nobody had heard it. Some place, some place, I got a cable that's like that Black Mountain Blues. I think I've, I think I've heard that. And he didn't play it fast at all. He played it. Well, I tried it some place, but I got so many tunes I have to play that. Well, here, so I like the way that I can play it. some of the damnest prettiest notes you ever heard. That fiddle will never, ever in his life ever sound that good again. When that gets... But now old Fred's a good fiddle fixer and a good fiddle player. And he's been sure and knows a ton of tunes. And got enough bullshit for two or three farms. 
We'll kill it anyway. I hate to stop this. Tune that first string up to standard and leave the leave it tuned in A. I can play just a little bit of that. Play your version of that. The, just a little bit of it. Right, whiskey. I've got to use a tuner anymore. And I don't know that I ever could. I just thought I could. Sounds a little bit like rice straw, just, just a little bit. But it is different. I wish you got around about 10 o'clock this morning. Get him moving. He want to go see Thelma and everything. That's all right. We can get him back sometime. I wish you get him back sometime. Get both back. You're not going to come to McClurg tonight. I imagine with this weather, like they're talking down there, we better. Oh, that We're hell. going on down the mountain. Well, Glenn says there's not any problem now. Oh, well, but I mean on Highway 5 between here and there is what I'm thinking about. It's going to be awful late getting in there. That's great. Oh, you're yeah. not talking to a youngster here anymore. Uh, I don't <laughs> think there's any problem about the weather. Play me another one. Play, you got it. That's straight A. Play me one of your old ones. If you wouldn't mind, I would sound like I'm ordering you around. <laughs> I'd very much appreciate it. If... I don't know if I can play. I haven't tuned it up in that tuning for so long. I, I can play Wood Howl in there. I usually That's what play we were it. talking about. I play it in straight. Thank 
it's up more than towards that speed. It's after after always ruined my fiddling because I had to play so fast. I never, I never got to be. Were the old timers playing that fast? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, that's, it's funny to have it be that fast, but still got that mournful sound, you know. And, yeah. Yeah, my dad, uh, my dad's generation didn't dance quite as fast as they do now. But the reason was that most of the fiddlers couldn't play that fast. Uh -huh. uh, they they usually didn't have uh, once in a while. There was one or two or three, you know, good fiddlers around in the country, but they was hard to get. And the fiddlers they had to get for their dances a lot of times was couldn't play but one or two tunes. They would play the same ones all night. Yeah, and. Uh, Till I was, oh, 18 or 19 years old, got to getting out and playing. A lot of tunes I just knew by the name of the old fiddler that played them. Mm -hmm. My dad would say, now play me old John Eddings or old Charlie Deckard or old Doc Norman. And I knew that he, I learned them from his whistling. Yeah. And he'd heard them fiddlers play that tune so much, that's why he called it their tune. A lot of times it's the only damn tune they could play. <laughs> And uh, they turn out to be Mississippi Sawyer on the 8th of January. <laughs> well, I, well, a bunch of those Buddy Thomas tunes went the other way. They, they just all picked up fiddlers' names. And that was, yeah. I, lo I like Buddy Thomas's fiddling. He's a... Well, he in, 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 in January, the, it's a mixture of different Kentucky fiddlers. Uh, but there'll be s six more tunes. Coming out, but they're only coming out on CD because everything's going CDs. But he's got a different, he's got a different lick than any of the other Kentucky fiddlers I've ever heard. It's kind of his own. He done that himself. Yeah. Well, he was a terrific fiddler. I mean, 